Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard and today is a super awesome episode because I've got my biggest impact and my smallest impact here on the farm and I'm ready to rock and roll. Plus, I've got something very awesome for you in store later on in this episode, so make sure you watch it all the way to the end. Down he goes, 132 yards. Ooh. 54 yards down. Perfect, 112 yards down. <laughs> Smoking 40 yards. So the idea for today is to use this big boy setup of mine from the shooting table for the walking and stalking and for the short range shots. I'm gonna use my super compact impact which has been set up in such a way that I can get a ton of shots and it's easy to carry around with to shoot all the best birds. Oh, oh, oh. As he goes, 48 yards. Ooh. Smoked him, 120 yards. The Mighty Zeus. This is the most powerful FX gun that I own. This bad boy has been set up to shoot heavy grain slugs, anything between 25 to 42 grains. This gun has an 800 millimeter barrel on it. It's got the ability to ramp up the power quite high. I've got an Element Nexus on it here as well with giving me perfect scope image. Donnie FL in the front, Sabre Tactical Kit on this gun, super awesome. Rocking an AccuTech bipod for super sturdy uh, ability to shoot from this bench, and then lastly, I've got this beautiful red laminate grip from the guys from Form Rifle Stocks. If that was a pool table, it would have been middle pocket. Two down, 112 yards. Five yards down. Ooh. <laughs> down she goes, a hundred and twenty one yards. This is Aries, and I've built Aries with one thing in mind, to keep things compact. If you look at this gun, it is super, super tiny. It's got a 500 millimeter barrel on it with a superior liner inside, which shoots the 21 grain H&N slugs very, very well. In the front, I've got a Donny FL Tanto, also very small, 
on top a element helix first focal plane underneath a 580cc cylinder that gives me a tons of shots shooting slugs and pellets underneath a gray form rifle stocks laminate grip which just completes this whole gun and if you look closely on the side you will see there's a connector here where I can connect this gun to a sling and carry it around with on the farm with ease. Down she goes, 35 yards. Oh, oh, oh my word, 121 yards down. I managed to do a quick accuracy test here for you. The 30 grain slugs at 100 to 10 yards, always doing very well within a sub MOA. But what impressed me the most was these 21 grain slugs. Now these little slugs I took out in a very, very bad day and the winds were gusting at 20 miles per hour. But when I shot this group and as you can see, they were handling this kind of winds very well. Oh, smoked him 110 yards down. Smoked him 77 yards. <laughs> Down she goes, 165 yards. So the sun is about to go down on the farm and I'm on a brand new location at the moment. For the first time, I'm going to show you how I do ratting. Something that I haven't shown you guys yet but something that I do a lot. Firstly, let me show you my setup for tonight. This is the FX Impact Compact. I've changed out the scope on top here. This is the Excite HD night vision scope. On the side, I've got a Nightcore infrared torch to go along with my night vision setup. And then I've changed my ammo out to 13 grain JSB pellets, which I shoot at 800 feet per second, which is more than enough to kill a rat and maybe a little bit overkill, but hey, I like to hit them hard and I know the backstops inside these sheds, so it's safe to shoot. Now when you're ratting, it is difficult to set up a main camera, so you guys won't be able to see me shooting, but you will see the shots I'm taking through the scope cam. I start off the night with a pigeon nesting in these sheds. You will see that there is a very large problem with rats on this farm and most of these rats is running inside the roof. These rats are causing a very big problem for the farmer because they're chewing through electrical cables and also eating the feed that they're putting out for the livestock. Now shooting these rats is tricky and you need to have some skill when it comes down to shooting. Do it. 
A lot of pigeons also fly into the sheds to nest and the farmer also asked me please to take them out as well. They can become a big nuisance. Now rats have the tendency to feed on each other especially if the one is dead. I've spotted this big boy feeding on a dead rat I shot earlier and took aim. Unfortunately I got the range wrong and I missed him. Well that's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. If you like this ratting and you want to see more of this, please leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please remember to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.